Hi, the Z9 Diaries isn't over. There's um, a few shoots left that I need to edit, probably two or three. Um, and it just seems never ending, to be honest, all the editing. So, and there's so much I want to say about the Z9. And, um, but at the moment, I feel like I'm piecing myself back together, to be honest. It's um, on a personal level, as you can probably tell by my videos, it's been... I don't even know where to start. Like, aside from actually the grief hitting me again and the realisation that I haven't done what I set out to do as a photographer all those years ago, actually reevaluating my life, like, whoa, all of that, all of that. It What also happened was... When I picked up the camera and started shooting every day, I went back to my old habits. The old habits of Claire Allen, what I was then. Um, not, like, not necessarily good habits. So since the car crash, when I stopped doing my photography and went on a different path, I suppose, I started meditating. I've I do prayer every single day. I practice gratitude every single day. For some reason, I picked up that camera and started shooting and I just like stepped back into the old me. It's just so weird. It's like I stepped into a time machine and I went back. And there's good things about that. But there's also now I feel lost in a way because I stopped doing all the things that helped me get through you know, help me find that inner, inner calm self. But also, right, you're not going to believe this, in the middle of all that, you know, on the days that the computer went wrong, um, I, I had, right, so I had a dream and in the dream, and I do feel like quite connected to my dreams and I get, sort of feel guided sometimes by my dreams. Well, in this dream, I dreamt that I was writing down everything, all my outgoings, where my son's savings are for if anything happens to me. And I got up the next day and I wrote down everything. I went through like all my insurances, where everything is, so that if anything happens to me, Adam doesn't have issues. And I, sh I put it all in a file and I showed my son and Adam. And I said, look, this is where everything is if anything happens to me. Two days after I did that, I found a suspect lump on my body. So can you imagine? My mind was just going absolutely chaotic for like this whole week in the middle of the Z9 diaries. So I picked, so after I picked up the camera in the deer park and realised that's what I want to be doing, you know, that's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to do wildlife photography. I wanted to travel with this. All of those things that I wanted to do, potentially have a studio. And I started to think, okay, yeah, it's not too late, it's not too late, then I find the lump, then I'm thinking maybe it is too late, you know, my mind just went on overdrive, and then when I got the all clear, I felt elated for a day, it was like just such incredible news, and obviously such a massive relief, and I felt like I'd been handed my life back, and so, and, and and with that was the message, okay, Here's your life again. What are you going to do with it? You know, and and my mind's just all over the place. And it just, it felt like everything's different, but nothing's changed. You know that feeling? And so I just feel a little bit like a rabbit in the headlights. Um, it's, it's brought me back to... Um, my thoughts for like Claire's School of Photography, for example, because some of the things I've wanted to say to you guys, I haven't, I've stopped myself saying it because I'm just like scared of feeling overwhelmed because I don't know how, like my vision for things is so big, but I don't, but it's like once I commit, once I say something, like that's the pressure on me you know like saying I would shoot every day with the Z9 I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself but I kind of just I'm gonna just say my ideas out loud I 
I just feel like this channel is all about me, 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 and I don't want that. I would absolutely love to see your photos. And so we could do something where you could send me some photos and I could maybe do like a monthly or not monthly, but however often we feel like, like a little sort of like critique, like your photos, my thoughts. I love doing this. Uh, sometimes my brother will send me a photo and I'll just, I'll just give him all my feedback. And sometimes I won't be able to help, but stick it in Photoshop and give it a little edit and then send it back to him like revamped. And I've been thinking this for a while that I really want to see your work. And, but my worry is that I'll open the floodgates and then I won't be able to keep up or, you know, people might try sending them to me in ways that I won't know how to open the file or something like that. And so I've been holding on to these ideas because I don't know how to go about it not becoming overwhelming because obviously with the channel growing so quickly, you know, it could end up being unmanageable. But um, I started a Claire School of Photography Facebook group quite a while ago with the thought of like starting to expand, but I haven't told you about it. So I just thought, oh, I don't know. Like maybe if we had one way where you sent me some photos, if you'd like to, just one photo each that you'd like to like enter into this thing and we just agree on the best way to send it. Like my brother sent me some stuff on WeTransfer and that went okay. So maybe that's one option. One of my big things is I want to help businesses that have suffered in COVID, you know, because I know what it's like. I want to bring us all up together. Um, and I'd love to get your work out there if you'd like, you know, if that's something that you think I could help with. So I'm just tr like trying to think of ways we can make that happen, but in a fun way. And so I thought this thing where you guys send me some of your photos and then I take them over and if you don't mind me doing some editing if I get inspired to and then I can do a YouTube video of your photos with your contact details in the links and links and things um, or your YouTube channel and I just thought it would be great fun so that's one idea that I've been too scared to tell you about <laughs> Yeah, and I, I see Claire's School of Photography as not just me teaching photography. So I see Claire's School of Photography as me holding the space. Um, but I'd love to see more people getting involved somehow. I don't know what this looks like yet. Obviously, it'd be lovely to do more stuff in person, but we've got people scattered all over the world. I loved how I collaborated with... Um, Barography on the um, interview that was amazing I'd love to do more stuff like that and just I really would love Claire School of Photography to be more interactive I don't just want to hide behind the camera I want to have you know proper meetings with as many of my subscribers as I can that would be so great wouldn't it wouldn't it just be amazing to just meet up have a meeting place and just all meet each other for the first time. It would be just so exciting, wouldn't it?